Oh yeah, I do do videos. Hey everyone, Fen here. There goes the bell now signaling. This is odd. Mr. Private Security here didn't even bother to close his own front door. Heard that already. Heard it, heard it, not interesting. Yeah, signifying that we don't have shit for time to do shit for anything. And I guess I read these. I guess I should really just... Oh. 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 Oh! There was a piece of loot that somebody missed. How could they miss a fire poker? It must have gotten up and bounced around poking them in the ass until they left. That sounds like a good security system, right? I don't know. Yeah. I wonder what happened to you. Time for a note on night little bedtime story. And... A thing that I thought was a note, but it was a chair back. Business logbook, fiscal year 23, day one. The annual meeting went well, and the investors have been paid their dividends. Now back to work. Day two, an assistant to the undersecretary in charge of idiocy at the office of the viceroy arrived unannounced. What? A region has been falling behind in the collecting of feral children for proper disposal, if I heard him correctly. I made pleasantries and vacant promises of support until the fool departed at long last. Just how can a few homeless children matter when murderers and thieves walk these very streets? Day six. At the noon hour, Lady Sheridan arrived in a fluster, asking me to investigate her husband. Seems he came home three nights this week wearing only women's undergarments. <laughs> some jobs really are too small. Now for some important business. I received word this afternoon from my corporate account stating that he wishes me to eliminate a certain vermin of the street, willing to pay 2,000 gold with a 1,000 down payment. Must be one hell-raising troublemaker, let me guess. Also, he appears interested in acquiring a certain optical device. He will meet with me tomorrow to discuss details. Day 7. This morning, my corporate client brought forth the details of his intrigue. I am to acquire a mechanical human eye from the hammers. An interesting assignment, but one better suited for a thief. Given my aversion to Cragscleft Prison, I decline the job for now. Trespassing within the walls of a Hammerite Cathedral is out of the question. I did attempt to raise the matter of the vermin, but was rebuffed. Apparently the deal is all or nothing. Day 12. The corporate client returned today, demanding in a fit of his characteristically overwrought bluster that I find a way to acquire that mechanical device for him. It appears that my competitors feel likewise about the hammers, so now he comes crawling back to persuade Pinchendon with even more money. It is a tempting offer, but I have kept the hammers at bay for twenty-two years, and I am not about to take any risks with them now. So once again I declined, whereupon he made his exit, muttering veiled threats in my general direction. Day 13. Nothing from the corporation at all today, so I contacted my old friend, Faustus, who runs security up there, thought he might know something. Yet, I have just received word this evening, and it appears that Faustus knows nothing about any mechanical eyes. But he did request more poisoned apples, which I gladly supplied. Day 14. Lady Sheridan paid another visit to discover what I might have learned regarding her wayward husband and the source of his undergarments. I had to invent awkward fables since I haven't looked into this matter at all. Note to self, even small jobs require some attention. Day 15. My corporate client remains th returns this evening, and now he has a plan. He claims that a courier will be transporting the mechanical eye this very night, and if I can muster my men quickly, it should be a simple matter to acquire the device with a minimum of trouble. I agreed to his plan, provided the courier is not a hammerite, and this, my client assures me, will be according to my requirements. It appears, then, that my ordeal with this mechanical eye can finally be resolved. Day 16. Disaster! The so-called courier was none other than the very daughter of the Master Solistus himself, and somehow Lady A Alicia was bludgeoned during the operation. I have interviewed all of my men, and none admit to the killing, nor do I suspect them greatly given the look in their eyes. But to be safe, I have taken the usual precautions. Note to self. Replenish my supply of slow-acting poison. <sighs> Wow. Day 17. After careful investigation, I am convinced that all will be well. Strangely, there have been no suspicions regarding the death of Lady Alisha. The corporate client is pleased with events, and the old man himself paid no attention to anyone at her funeral, except his physicians. Now I wish I had not poisoned my men. Durr. Day 24. Sleep comes in small doses. Somehow I have finally disturbed the dead after all these years spent adding to their ranks. For a ghost, as best I can determine, has decided to haunt me here and even at the brothels where I have sought refuge. Tonight I drank myself into a stupor, but with no relief whatsoever. 
Day 25. Following a long sleepless night, I was startled this morning by McGatfrey, the mortician, who came crying into my office seeking his missing daughter. After some simple investigation, I had the unfortunate duty to inform him that her body had just been found beneath an opening in the river ice. Witnesses saying that she was being chased by bounty hunters seeking feral children when she fell through into the river. Very sad even for me to discover the sodden body, dis deliver the sodden body unto her father, still clutching her doll. Day 31. Today my corporate client reaffirmed his wish for me to exterminate that vermin of the old village. And to this requirement he has added a new request for me to relieve him of a certain personal headache. Blackmailers, as he calls them, has apparently unearthed some pres previous intrigue, and they demand money for their silence. This second item may be a difficulty, since I have learned how one man's blackmailer can be another man's opportunist, and we opportunists must stick together. Day 37. I am not well. It has been a fortnight since I have come to be so continually haunted. The apparition arrives in my sleep and insists that I do its bidding. Only after I obey am I relieved, until I must again repeat my slated delivery tasks. Much more of this haunting, and I will most certainly take a double dose of what I am now spreading about town. Day 42. Today I received word, I believe it was today, from somebody complaining about contracts I made with him. But the details of his tirade escape me, as do most other thoughts. I can no longer sleep at night, and I am driven mad by these continuous ghostly visitations. This afternoon I drove poor Lady Shadowden down the street with the back of my sword, thinking her at first to be the apparition of my dreams. I hope she's not too upset, for she has been a valued customer. Day 44. More evil abounds, or perhaps we are relieved of it. This very evening I have learned that Master Solustus lies at death's door. No one in this town will miss his dark cloud when it finally passes cold-fisted soul that he is. In another time I might be glad for the ensuing intrigue and maneuvering that this will certainly create. Such times are always good for my business, but now I just need to sleep. Day 46. I am at an end. The apparition gives me no rest at all, and so I have chosen to fight it among the netherworlds. Now I drink this potion. Now I finally sleep. Now that's what I call a serious hallucination. Yes. yes. Quite. <laughs> Pinchinjin tried to kill me three times. So as far as I'm concerned, he had it coming to him. And he finally got to you on his fourth try? No. His occasional employer, the mysterious corporate client of his journal, became so annoyed by delays that he killed me himself. Just as I suspect, he is also trying to kill you. But why? His name is Frantitius, my father's former high counselor. And right now, he's the most powerful executive within Solustus Industries. Frantitius wrote the contract that my father gave to you, so he knows exactly how you could one day claim the Enterprise as your own. Yet Frantitius wants the Enterprise for himself. He can have it. But until you are dead, Garrett, there will always be a question of legitimacy. So, how did he manage to poison me? I can't tell you everything, Garrett. Besides, you wouldn't believe me even if I did tell you. I suggest you visit the legal offices owned by Frantitius. He spends most of his time there, so I'm sure you'll find all the evidence you need. You know what, and kill this guy for my trouble? Your choice. Yet, it would be a waste of time to kill him now. Strange. She doesn't seem to want revenge. So just what the hell does she want? <laughs> this, oh, it is loot. I was going to say that busted old clock is not loot, but uh, I guess since I've got a bunch of hard saves, I'll just save after that long conversation and uh, get <coughs> on my way. Oh, right. I'm in the section of town which could be described as a section of town that's sort of there. Uh, it's it's, a, it's big and it's, it's round and stuff. Legal offices. What did she even just say? Good lord. I can't even freaking remember. Well... I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way or that way. I think this way leads to the morticians, possibly. But, uh, I'm supposed to go to somebody's legal office. More like illegal office, because you know I'm going to rob it. Oh. I guess I can't get past that way. Right. Right, right, right. Let's see if I'm any better at this area now that I've gotten some more skills with the engine since the years since I've played this thing. Huh? I can carry these big crates. Well, you're a noisy one, aren't you? <laughs> I sure am. Right. 
well, I can't quite remember the exact purpose of being here, but the water seems to hurt me when I go into it, but I guess I can walk on ice, probably. Guessing. Don't have any rope, so if I want to get down there, if there's any point, I'm going to have to find a different way down, like walking across this big metal plank. <coughs> Son, have I ever lied to you? Oh, there goes my health going downwards and stuff. <coughs> what is this, a zombie or a dead person or both I think one of them might be required for the other to exist unless unless it's uh oh shit oh hmm want to be honorable and just take that alert you're ours now god 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 damn something for me will you I guess I'll take this opportunity to just walk away during this conversation. Okay, I'm supposed to visit Frantitious Legal Offices. Where? It must be on the map here somewhere. I don't know, Garrett's. There's no legal offices anywhere. Jeez. Well, Garrett's gonna keep sort of talking to her, but we've heard that conversation already. Anyways, that other place I'm sure is a mortician or something. I'm gonna just check up here. I heard it directly from Frantitious myself. Happened earlier tonight. Some kind of why? His name is Francis. Uh, right, going out without trigger in that convo first, so I can listen to this, or this friggin' one here, and then, you know, I'll do other stuff. Boy, oh boy, cinematics sure is inconvenient. Where's that guy? Kind of up there ish. Yes, it really is true. I heard it directly from Frantitious myself. Happened earlier tonight. Some kind of slow acting poison. I don't know, Listus. Huh? It's a damn shame as far as I can see. Since when did you start giving a damn about Master Solustus? Now, now, let the old swindler rot. It's just that I'll have to deal with his estate for my money. <laughs> and I suppose that Solustus died just to cheat you out of your last invoice. I wouldn't put it past him. I expect they took the body to Megatrees. Perhaps tomorrow morning you can find some news there. Good idea, Listus. But first, I've got some serious drinking to do. Alrighty then. Alright, well, I want to trigger these just for the sake of so keeping it proper. I mean, it's... I keep hearing them in my head. But the thing is... The thing is, Frober, the author, mentioned on the forum... I, I, I'm not sure if he was talking about this mission, maybe, but he said that... So annoyed by he's thinking that, that he on on expert he didn't put enough Just time because you barely have time to see anything or he said s something quite disturbingly you know panic inducing like that and uh and right now he's yeah. the most okay I guess I'm gonna have to deal with the time wastings of those conversations you'd think they'd be designed with it in mind though what uh you'd, you'd think you'd think what? Oh, okay. You'd also think you'd be able to get up here. Wow, I can. Oh, it's icy-ish, kind of. That's probably a thing. Well, you know what they say about ice levels? They're slippery and the controls are bad. It's it's a, quite a saintly saying, and I can't jump. I, I can't. Well, what's the point of being up here if I can't even friggin' jump? Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I remember going over there at one point, but it seems like... Well, no new objectives pop up with that combo, so F that. I'm just gonna take a quick look down here to see, uh, you know, if there's some kind of place down here that might be good to go. I don't know. There might be some hidden... What? I broke through the... Op what? Amazing, but yeah. Alright, well, if you go under there, there's a little passage with a chest with some water arrows and a speed potion. It's pretty weird. I don't really need those, so I'm not really gonna bother at all. So... I guess that really the only place for me to go is kind of up this really sort of way. True. Yeah, run! Scurry away or you'll acquire some unnecessary ventilation. Infirmary is not where I'm headed. I think I have to get around here before uh, 10 o'clock at some This clock and stone tower are hereby dedicated, inscribed under the owl moon in this seventh year of Letitia. Well, who are they dedicated to? God, you gotta dedicate it to someone like your, your beloved wife and and your your daughters and your mothers and everybody ever <sighs> find my way inside the cathedral gate that's odd i remember having to find my way to this place at some 
at some point. Maybe it's in another mission. That... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to go there? I have to go there before tank collapse, but I probably have to complete all this other stuff first. Mortician make it. Oh, I do have to go to the morticians. God, I'm not even remembering anything rightly here. And, uh, wow. My commentary is so not good when I have to deal with all kinds of other people talking. It's an observation that has been observed by many an lp -er before, and I am now the latest in the line. What are we here? Top part torn off. When you feel that the end is near, please, for your family's sake, remove yourself from town so that your loved ones are not exposed to the danger of what you might become. If you wish, you may visit my office in the morning, and I will supply whatever final comforts I can. My deepest sympathies, a grandiose attending surgeon. He gives that to everybody. Well, well, well. Looks mighty suspicious, or just lazy, or efficient, I guess. Uh... Well, some... Okay, that guy cares about me. The hammers... Hello. Don't know. Nothing there now. What are you doing? <laughs> am I supposed to follow this guy? Am I... I'm not, am I? I'm totally not supposed to follow that guy. I'm supposed to have found... I think I just broke the engine. I'm supposed to have found another way around here. Well, I... I am so supposed to have come all the way around. Hmm. I don't know if I should do that to to do like a proper play. I wanna I wanna see, cause what other way is there? Am I am I supposed to supposed to come via the river or something? Uh, unless there's like a a lever by that gate on this on the other side. But maybe there isn't. Let me just check this out. Why can I now swim in water without getting hurt? Whereas that stuff at the beginning killed me. Oh, now it did. Why don't I just pretend temporarily that uh, this gate opening never happened and uh, try to go around like I'm supposed to because I'm just that friggin' honorable? Well, it's an infirmary. A couple of guys just ran in. Well, maybe not here, but uh, this is, does not look like a place where you would drink or have drinking to do or anything involving drinking unless it be healthful vitamin water, which sounds like quite an Orwellian thing, if you ask me. It sounds like Dr. Breen's private reserve. Or maybe it just looks like it in the logo. I don't know. Looks like all these doors are locked for the safety of the patients, so they can't smash out the doors when they become a super hyper-strong zombie. Dr. Grandius! I am not well this night. The numbness in my legs grows, as does the frequency of my vomiting. I write this note in the hope that you will visit my room promptly upon your return. Ostensilis solustis. Too bad for the likes of that douche. Oh yeah. <laughs> it calls for a western style voice. Dr. Grindius, I have pursued your complaint regarding the town clock chimes that keep you and your patients awake at night. For the present time, it appears that nothing can be done by way of court action. However, I am friendly with the man who operates the clock, and I have found a way to persuade him to mute the late-night clanging. It seems that a sum of twenty gold per month will compensate him. Given that my own legal offices are also near those bells, perhaps we could split this cost? Frantitious? Oh, well... Splitting the cost? Okay, fine. I nothing to do with me, of course. Libraries, equally nothing to do with me. This mission seems like too serious a mission to be having any sort of uh, secrets with books, but maybe it does. Even if so, who really cares? Not me. I'm going into the surgery room, which is in fact just called a surgery, because people surge sewing machines. I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to admit that I'm not going to be able to say anything other than Hey, 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 look at me, I'm going along the place, stuff's happening, isn't this mighty interesting? And that sort of thing. Well, hmm, let's make pretty <sighs> take that. Do not disturb me unless you be the doctor for whom I sent, Sarastus. <laughs> <laughs> I fear, Doctor, that I have been poisoned. <laughs> Could they not have waited? I am old. <laughs> and soon to die. 
But I suppose that my money could not wait for the vultures. <laughs> what? Well, an hourglass isn't that symbolic. Property of Ostensilis Solistus Private. Well, at least his one redeeming factor is that he's brevity-like with his journals. I do not know who has done this vile deed, but I strongly suspect your Landis and Corbalis, given their evil eyes this past week. I had hoped Garrett might take charge and rid the Enterprise of such insects, but alas, the pestilence seems to have rid itself of me. I suspect not my former wives, nor their greedy children, for I have managed to attend to them before they were able to attend to me, except for Alicia, who managed to find her own grave apart from my plans for her. At least Frantitius can still be trusted. You bastard! Do I hear my friendly hallucination again? I was hoping you would find this journal Shut so up, you woman. could see how my father was trying to kill me. How could you think I was spying on you for such a man? Sorry, Lish, but I don't buy it. Your old man could have had you spying on me, and you killed in the same breath. Believe what you wish, then, Garrett. But I see that you are running out of time. What's in it for you, Lisha? Always clever. Always watching your back. You don't trust anyone, do you, Garrett? Least of all someone, or should I say something with an ulterior motive. Then die, and become what I have become. A formless apparition. Okay. Anyways. What the hell was I even friggin' saying? That guy's a bastard. He's all like... He's all like, oh, look at all these people. They don't want to submit to me. I'm a complete evil guy. I don't understand what went wrong. I cannot comprehend goodness. Oh, people, boy, he's an idiot. Well, not an idiot necessarily, but really, a really horrible dude. That makes you righteously angry and want to swing the hammer of justice down onto his friggin' head. Uh -huh. Oh, is there something over here around this corner, or is it just a corner? Hey. Well, there might be some potential for there to be something, but not an actual thing, very unfortunately. Now, it's their problem. I, I gotta go someplace. I'm constantly under panic that my time's gonna run out. There's very little ability to tell time. You know what? I've got, like, what? I must have an invis. I've got one invis. Oh, this is going to require a lot of hard saving. Okay, I've got one invis here, and... I guess I'll use it? I don't know. That might have been a shadow. After all. Well, I'm allowed to knock Who's out, that? aren't I? Yeah. Fine. I'll take you as being a knockout. Fine. I'm not going to ghost this place. Not in a mission where I have a friggin' time limit, for God's sake. But... He wasn't even... I need to get over here. This is, this is it. This is... On the other side of this is where I actually need to be going. I don't have any keys. Uh, I don't... I don't think that... goes anywhere. Hey! Okay. Somebody walks. I disapprove of walkers. Whether they be AT-AT -AT or ATXTX -TX or friggin' whatever, I hope that didn't kill him, or my objective's going to be hilariously failed, and this isn't a path. Gah. Okay, it's another zombie. Okay, this one's actually a zombie. Well, good for him, I guess. Doesn't do me any good, however. Maybe this guy will lead me. On a, a useful trip to some place that's useful. I don't know. If I follow him, I might make my very slow, winding, wending, wendigo style way over to, to the, this place here. But then there's a thief somewhere or other. <sighs> Wasting an invis. Playing tricks on me. Really? <laughs> I'm getting too jumpy. <sighs> that sounded funny. <laughs> All right. <gasps> Still can't get through here, though. I don't know, man. I I know this is probably frustrating a bunch of you guys, but I really want to complete the mission correctly. I don't want to break anything, and I'm pretty sure that following the guy through the grate was a break because it only went up a part of the way, and and then he just went through it like he 
Like, only he was supposed to go through it. So... I... I, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out next time. This is just the way some of these missions are. Oh well. See you guys later.